But now at five, a rally held by community and faith leaders to address violence in Indianapolis. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Nick McGill and for Bob. That's right, and I'm Debbie Knox. Bob is off tonight. This comes after a deadly shooting overnight. CBS 4's Jesse Wells has a look at what's been frustrating, a frustrating start of the year for many. The public safety rally took place less than 12 hours after a man was shot to death right here in the street at 30th and Broadway. The killing marked the 78th homicide of the year. That is the second deadliest number on this date in the history of the city. Just before 11 o'clock Wednesday night, IMPD responded to several calls of shots fired on Broadway and found a man dead in the street. We're declaring that we're sick of it. Flanked by several members of the clergy, as well as the mayor and police chief, faith leaders like Terry Webster preached a message of unity. We just have to have to begin with the basic principle of trust. I think that's one thing that can certainly help us and go a long way is simply trusting one another. Unfortunately, 78 homicides before the end of April is a significant increase compared to last year and nearly double what the numbers were prior to 2020. The violence that we're seeing is heartbreaking. Jesse, you and I are just going to have to have a, uh, an acknowledged disagreement. When I asked the mayor directly if the city's public safety plan has been effective in reducing violence, he pointed out only 63 of this year's 78 homicides have been deemed criminal, discounting 15 deaths that didn't result in criminal charges. There's no benefit to the public to you or to me for you and I to litigate this in this context. What's being represented today, Jesse, is an unprecedented level of collaboration and cooperation among community leaders. For his part, IMPD's chief insisted once again that police can't solve or prevent violence, like the killing on Broadway, without the public's help. We've said it before, this is not a police issue, not completely. It would be much better not to have these crimes occur in the first place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is going to take more than your police department. Finally, those pastors encourage community members to do their part in reducing the violence by speaking up if they see violence in their neighborhood and hold those killers accountable. Jesse Wells, CBS 4 News. Jesse, thank you. Police did not have any motive or suspect information to release on that Broadway homicide. As always, anybody with information should call Crime Stoppers. The number you know at 317-262-TIPS. You can find the number attached to this story online at CBS4Indy.com. And 